Welcome back to Rachel B. The Healthy We. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower flour crust for a pizza. So we're going to be using a quarter cup of the cauliflower flour, a half a cup of mozzarella, two eggs, some seasonings and spices to flavor it, and two thirds of a cup of water. First thing you want to do is bloom or basically rehydrate the cauliflower flour by putting it into your water. I'm going to do that first. So that can be hanging out while you are doing the rest of it. Just give it a little mix. It's okay if it's lumpy because we're going to be putting everything in the food processor. Or you can also use a blender or an immersion blender to give it a quick spin so everything's well combined before we actually put it in the silicone tray. So then everything else, we're just going to crack our eggs and we're going to go ahead and I'm using salt, uh, Italian seasoning uh, and garlic to flavor mine because without it, I feel like it kind of just has, it does have a veggie flavor. You know, it's a veggie crust. So once you put everything into your mixer or however you want to do it, you can also do it by hand. Give it a quick pulse and then we're going to put it into the tray. I'm going to do that really quick off camera and then I'll come back and we'll put it into the tray together and get it ready for baking. All right, and so we're back. I mainly want to show you that it's very liquidy and that's okay. The first time I did this, I was a little freaked out that it wasn't going to come out right. So you definitely need a pan with sides. This is an eight by 11 silicone mold. And as you can see, the chunks of um, cheddar cheese, that's why I like to blitz it real quick. It's just to make sure that's getting thoroughly mixed into the primary mixture. Okay. You're just gonna kind of level it out. And then we're gonna put it in a 325 degree oven for 25 minutes. At that point, I will flip it over to pull it out of this, put my toppings on and turn it into a pizza. But I'll show you after we bake it, let you know how it looks and uh, what you can expect. This is a really good recipe to use when you maybe don't wanna have the extra fat or don't wanna use an excess of um, mozzarella cheese like the fathead dough calls for. Plus of course, obviously the almond flour also has ex um, excess fat in it. Whereas this one you're getting the goodness of cauliflower um, and just a little bit of mozzarella is used in this one. So a good al alternative if you want something that's a little bit uh, less calorie dense um, instead of using fathead dough. So I'll show you what it looks like as soon as we bring it out of the oven. All right, so as promised, it is now completed. And I'm sorry, I believe I said 325. It's actually gonna be 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you go ahead and just eyeball it for the last five and make sure it's where you want it to be, which is basically fully cooked because you're really just gonna be melting the cheese and so on. So one of the reasons I like to use the silicone is because it comes out so easily. So this is still really hot since it just came out, but I'm gonna show you real quick. that I like to flip it. You can also line the, the silicone if you'd like to, so that it actually has parchment paper on the bottom. So there you go. So I just go ahead and pull it out. Now I'll top it. This particular one I decided to make because I'm gonna make a breakfast pizza out of it. But this makes this one medium pizza when you do the particular recipe or two individual pizzas. I think it's good for pizza crust and, or you could make it like a focaccia style bread um, for maybe sandwiches. Other than that, I don't really find it really good for baking. Again, it does have a veggie flavor to it. When you're doing seasonings like rosemary or garlic or Italian seasoning, you can cover that flavor up and it just tastes like yummy bready. Um, but in sweet items, you cannot cover that vegetable flavor up. So again, I think it's appropriate for pizza crust and maybe a focaccia bread. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't use the cauliflower flour for sweet baked goods or anything like that. But a really good alternative if you want a low calorie, gluten-free, still keto friendly, all that good stuff, pizza crust. I hope you enjoy and give this a try if that's something you're looking for. And thank you for watching.